Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with the 2020 Chicago Regional, and we are in the finals. It is Robbie. I'm not going to pronounce his last name. And Colin. Uh, yeah. Ritzy. Robert Ritzy. Ritzy. Oh, yeah. And Colin Kaiser. That's easy. Oh, yeah. Um, they are both playing. Big surprise. Serge Koo. Um, big, big hitter in this uh, in this tournament. This uh, this little format that we're having here uh, before set nine drops is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm loving all the Surge leaders. I'm loving uh, all the variety. Um, granted, top eight was like three Surge Coups. Um, all of them were very different in main deck. Some of them were tricolor. Some of them were dual color. Um, how did you fare this regional? Oh, this regional, unfortunately, I... Uh <laughs> I bubbled really hard, you know. I, I was X2, but I had two draws, and the two draws came at really unfortunate times. Yeah, as they do sometimes. Yeah, yeah you know, and it's one of those things. That I was the best 11-point person, but it wasn't good enough oh, for a Nats invite, you know. So one more point might have been a, well, a big difference, but you never know. There's always next time. Well, yeah. Of course. Yeah, But uh, we're going to jump into the game here. Going to see they're uh, starting up. They've already... Uh, they've already it looks like they're mulliganing at their currently. Open they're in the process of mulliganing. And uh, honestly, now it's just uh, a lot of it's honestly who goes first with this this, this, this search coup matchup. That's what we've noticed watching all these streams here. Um, I, I honestly, I think the biggest thing to play against this deck, and not necessarily in the ma uh, the mirror match, but just in the matchup in general, is you want to try to play as defensively as possible against Surge Coup. Mm -hmm. If you can keep your life total at yep. a high uh, a high number going into the later turns, you're pretty much solid at that point. Perfect. And we've got their deck lists here. I'll hand you Collins. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny. I was uh, playtesting with these guys on Friday night. And uh, Colin wasn't 100% sure what he wanted to play, but Robbie was like, eh, why don't you just play my deck? It's pretty sweet. <laughs> and now he's, uh, you know, biting himself in the butt right now. Like, that's pretty funny. I mean, oh, wait. This is interesting. In Robert, uh, Robbie's side deck, he's got a uh, Vegeta Engine of Destruction. He plays two of them. Mm -hmm. so he, ma he mains one, he I think. Mains really. That's, oh, I, think I, I, I actually wrote that deck list, so I remember. Oh, that's yeah. funny. <laughs> I remember, actually, I remember him uh, playing one when he streamed him in round like three or four. Very interesting uh, side deck, or main deck card and slash side deck card. Uh, it does a lot of cool things. Double strike plus 10k, nukes a card when it comes on board. Just all around good things. It costs three, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's three. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the thing about it is that you have to have the blue energy open in order to get its crazy ability, but it's also really good against hatch because then it's a dual attacker that you're going to be yep, able to do this stuff is with. Yeah, true. You can keep swinging, putting a lot of pressure on. Oh, yeah. Main deck's the one for the hatch matchup because hatch can't really get rid of it short of like just attacking it. Exactly. Like, And then if you don't swing with it, you're like, okay, are you going to waste your um, – what's that four drop? It's not cooler. Slug. You're going to mm. waste your slug to warp this guy? Well, like, he can't. Well, unless it's the same turn he was played. You can just wait till turn four to play it, then he can't slug it even. Yeah. So that's a lot of pressure. These monkeys are – Wait, wait, why? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Slug, slug yeah. has to be equal or more in energy to, uh, to kill the battle card. To warp? Yeah, that's so it. slug, slug says that you're you talking about the ghost warrior slug. Yeah, the one that comes. Oh, in I, I didn't know that had a, a cost yeah. restriction. That's crazy. So uh, it's it's more so just like if uh, if I have four energy and the cra the creature I have on my board is three. Oh uh, yeah, well then you'd be safe. Yeah, yeah, you're safe. Yeah, but, if it's, but if it's uh, a four and I have four, it's not safe. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, it's equal to or more. But uh, this Chun Li sleeves, I am convinced, are what carried him to the place he is now. <laughs> what are we yeah. charging here, buddy? Start out with the multicolor there. Unfortunately, it does not have a second one. Yeah, it's always the hard thing. It's like you'd rather have uh, Beerus down there or like maybe a Heartfell or something, so you for just sure. go into Whis for free all day. Absolutely. <coughs> Granted, he's not going to be punished. Uh, he's going to eventually get another Whis, and he'll be able to put one in there. Um, I He's got a Hercule Boo in drop already. Oh, mm -hmm. pitching the ape. Interesting. Interesting. He must have maybe two more in hand. Oh, yeah, there it is. I feel like you never pitch the ape, even if you have like four in hand. It's so good. That's one of the best generic yellow cards for yeah. sure. He's going to hit him right down to uh, to four. Well, or is that maybe his life is just miscounted? No, that's definitely four. Yep, he's going to hit him right down to four. Oof. And now Robbie's four. If this was set one, he'd be awakening right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the cool thing about Surge. You can pretty mm -hmm. much pick and choose whenever you want to do it. Just straight up say, turn one awaken, why not? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, going forward, you know, like after image and bump something up, heart felt turn one. <laughs> like, that would be nice. Okay, oh, so we're getting his blue energy yeah. down. He definitely needs the blue for sure going forward. These are both the blue variant of uh, of this deck. Yeah, they they 
they play almost identical lists. I think they might have five or six I different cards. I think Colin mentioned that he does not main deck the cooler. No, he doesn't. Um, and that's like probably going to be the biggest difference, if any. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to combo. Great card to get in the drop. I want it all day. Oh, here comes your rival. Where's Beerus? Uh -oh. Lock down that. A oh, no. Just pop Boom. him. Say you. Locking down the leader is pretty good, but you definitely need to get rid of that double striker. Oh, no, uh, yeah. I was saying he could either lock it down or pop it, but, like, why would you lock it down? It doesn't make sense. <sighs> but it's so good. That effect is so good. Mm -hmm. Especially late game. If you do that against uh, against Janemba, against uh, Shenron, but Shenron's not really a thing anymore for now. Yeah. I mean, uh, the Piccolo Surge Leader is really popular this weekend, and people, mm -hmm. uh, after having playtested with Ritzy, like, I was watching how he plays the No Holds Barred. And he literally just saves three in hand to lock down that one thing. And I was playing a game this week against Serge Piccolo. Mm -hmm. And I actually locked down his Gogeta 7 three turns in a row and won that game just because he couldn't swing with it. Jeez. All right, where's where's his offering? Is it He's happening? He's just straight up going for it. He's tapped out. No Did he off. take the life for offering and not let him draw? Or I'm not sure if they're there yet. There's the oh, offering. there's the draw. Yeah. Okay. He's probably thinking about something. Typically, we want to take our time with all the stuff. They got an hour and a half, but uh, I don't think it's going to take that long by the looks of things. No, these decks can step on the gas real fast. So I'm thinking Colin has to awaken this turn. He needs the energy if he wants to defend us. Otherwise, he's taking three right now, and, and being that low with Surge Coup is just not a good place to be. If, if he takes the three now... Um, oh. Okay, this is happening. All right. Wow, that's interesting. Well, to be fair, he knew that was the last attack for the turn. He doesn't have anything he's going to play for one to really yeah. do anything in his deck. So you take it, you don't have to waste any resources, and then hopefully at the defense for the rest of the game. He's got a lot of Bardocks in hand. Mm -hmm. uh, actually oh, that's why he pitched the one Bardock. He's actually, no, he's only got one, sorry. He's got two in hand, sorry, and he's got a lot of multicolor. Oh, is he going to so charge that Frost Elite Poison? That would be a bad choice right now. It's going to be very cloggy. On turn four, if I'm not, does, Rob, does Robbie main deck the uh, Dark Banisher for the A drop? Uh, no. don't remember exactly. The overall mage drop? No, he doesn't. No, he does a uh, Fush Rod and Mystery instead. Probably the better choice for the late game matchups here, but. Oh, uh, uh, making sure that the Surge Coup can't do its ability is the greatest thing of all time. You're absolutely right. Or rather, we have to warp a card for it. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing is, like, <coughs> the fact that you get a 10k bean for the turn by just taking a card from underneath your leader is so gross. The crit's whatever, but the fact that it's 10k for the duration of the turn, well, yep. gross. Yeah, you, you, I, we've primarily seen people use it on defense, just because on offense you get that 10k unless you're going for game. Exactly, like but it's yeah, it's it's not you don't use it for 100%. for offense. I think if I'm if I'm uh, Robbie, I just all in next turn. I let him bring me down as low as he wants to this turn, and I just all in him. He's locking down the leader. No, he's going to kill the Heartfelt. You think? Yeah, because he's at two life. It, you can't leave a triple striker on board if... Um, That's fair. If Robbie has... Uh, I forget if he plays Almighty Resistance or not, but yeah. if he has it, then next you turn can, You can't take away the triple strike, though, with the leader ability. That's what I was thinking. Like, if you take... Because the only thing he can't stop is the leader. So if he plays the Champa on the... Uh, if he Sorry, if he, uh, if he plays the Champa on the leader, it's going to be guaranteed. Like, you just have to straight up out combo me and... Right now, Robbie should know that Colin Sand is probably very cloggy just because that's what this deck is sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's just very cloggy. See, the thing about it, I was talking to Ritzy about this, and he was telling me how dumb broken that 10k combo is for the turn as your defense where you don't have to waste any cards in hand. So, like, mm -hmm. forcing a player to remove my skills is like, okay, you don't get your double beam 10K, for the turn yeah, for free for sure. now. So, like, you want, you want to try to force them to make bad plays or at least – put the idea in their mind and give them the chance to yeah. mess up, you know? I see it. But because yeah, Colin doesn't have... There's just a lot leaning towards just the all-in because Colin doesn't even have a blue energy up. It's just... Either or is fine, I think. It doesn't matter too, too much. But if he all-ins in with the Chompa, if he has a Chompa in hand, the all-in, I think, is the play. Either way. I'm not the guy sitting at the top table. <laughs> <laughs> Chooses to combo. Just needs one super combo to out-combo the attack. He's going to rival a Beerus, mm -hmm. probably. Every single time, man. I'm telling you. He's going to get rid of his Beerus. Bye-bye. See you. No damage for you. 
It's very control. Like it's it's amazing how fast this deck can switch from gas to control. Oh yeah. Insane. That's red yellow for you, baby. Red yellow blue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I man, these tricolor decks are getting crazy these days, man. Crazy and crazier. Like the only redeeming quality of green would be like uh like if you're gonna splash green like a yellow or a red deck is is the due to the cruel. Exactly. So it's really just not worth it. No, not at all. Because it's the only really good green card that exists in the format, except for like Android Twenty One for the A drop that nukes everything and beats Hatchak. Well, assimilated ability was great up until they yeah. got rid of button. Button was <laughs> keeping button. that deck uh, floating, you know. Yep. All right, Reeds. Let's see what you got here, buddy. Can he end the game, Ratcha? Does the chomp in hand? Does he? Does he? Does he? Doesn't look like he has a chomp in, and he does have oh. a chomp in. It's Judge Foil. It's Judge Foil. Of oh, course, dude. So he's, we're know. flexing out here so today. You no, know it's gonna. I think he, he just all's in. All in. Oh, Corey, hundred percent. Like he's gonna mm -hmm. bait out any negates that he might have here. <laughs> Maybe see if he forces an awaken or something. I mean, if if I'm calling, I probably just go down to two because I assume he has a chompa. To, sorry, to one. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like you have to, you have to put him on and have it. Because the one energy has is the is a, the yellow Bardock, so it's Nimbus or nothing at this point. And if he Nimbuses now, then he gets a bunch more attacks because he doesn't. Uh, he gets attack with his leader. Sorry. And. Uh, yeah, he would get two more attacks, and if he ends up taking this life, all he doesn't even need the double strike chomp at that point, and then the surge won't take away double strike, so you have to worry about that. So going down to one right now actually wouldn't be. The K. best choice. It would be a really, really bad so choice. So he's opting to not go in for the all. He's not opting to not all in just because he knows that Robbie has not awakened yet. But I think that going wide is not the best play because, like we said, the 10k uh, on the leader is going to be so valuable now because he's going to stop this attack and then it's going to linger on for the next attack as well. So he's uh, he's already hitting, uh, fighting an up and uphill battle. The thing is, is it's once per turn. If he forces him to do 10k on this attack, debate it. You can't take away double strike, and then he's going to win the game. Yeah, of course. Yeah, for sure. Hundred percent. Like that's Robbie's play yeah. right now, and he's just trying to set him up. Yeah. I just think the more linear way to do it is just to swing with leader and out combo. But the, again, I have the information of seeing what's in Colin's hand, knowing that he can out combo him, mm -hmm. and Robbie doesn't. Exactly. But it's always rough, especially like this is probably the highest tier. Like besides Nats Worlds, this is mm -hmm. the highest tier you can get right now. Yeah. Well, well not like only that, but play. brand new leader, brand new cards. Everyone's mm -hmm. still trying to figure First everything out. First visual set. Exactly. Four hundred and thirty-three people watching. Shout out to <laughs> the Twitch. <laughs> Heyo. <laughs> Damn, we got well, a lot of boys out here today. A that's lot awesome. Of 433. I think that's the highest. 436. Ho oh, ho. Oh, we're climbing. Uh, oh, get some knowledge here. Yeah, that Broly, or not that Broly, but. Uh, I would be checking to see how many <laughs> Beerus's are in there and be like, okay, is he going to do me again? I mean, if it'd be insane if. Uh, if uh, Robbie had the Broly right now to play, look at his opponent's hand. Just mm. be like, oh, so you don't have anything. Exactly. Dude. You're dead. <laughs> That's why the Broly is so invaluable. It's g it, it would probably force call. Like, I don't know. I don't think the play would be to, like, uh, chomp or something to make it so that you don't have two energy so he can't look at your hand because then you're just tapping out and you're probably dead. Mm. But I think... I think he actually out comboed that without using his leader ability. No, so, yeah, he did two uh, yeah. two super combos. That's yeah. why Robbie's probably not gonna try to go in super hard here. He just wants to bait that uh, that ability. But yeah, yep, gonna warp a uh, kid Koku here. Draw a couple cards, pass yes, turn. Yes, yes. And he's, he's got the banisher foo. At, yeah, then he's at two life. Mm -hmm. He's literally just sitting here and trying to be like, okay, force Colin to do his ability, yep. and then I win. He's going to g definitely just uh, topo the first oh, attack. Oh, hundred percent. Next turn. Topo again. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he has two in hand. And then just say, Banisher Foo for game? Question mark. <laughs> Here comes the sense of being finally getting blue energy down. Definitely need that. Yeah. The time to press on the gas was definitely last turn, I think. But he opted to, uh, just the way Colin played it, it forced him to uh, play a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Colin played that smart. If he took it, uh, took a card under his leader to do the ability for 10k, he would have lost the game 100%. Yeah. <coughs> Here's Topo. What's he pitching here? And uh, exploding weakness is gone. That okay. That exploding weakness is the MVP of this weekend, man. Oh, I love that card so much. Nuked so many boards on stream. <laughs> 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 yep.
Yep, proving once again that that fifty dollar uh, price tag is one hundred percent worth it. Fifty five now. Oh, geez, climbing! Really? I'm oh. telling you. Bandai reprint it, save us. Uh, oh, please, Bandai. <laughs> I don't think they will. Like the Dropbox is so. I think they'll just what they'll do is they'll probably just print more drop boxes for people to buy and maybe up the pull rate. Yeah, they like got a second set or something. Yeah, second wave, something like that. I don't know. Bandai likes to reprint cards like crazy, so. <coughs> uh, certain cards. I mean, it took them like seven sets before they reprinted Sensu Bean, so I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know we were begging for foil beans for a long time. Uh, we got one in the showcase here at the uh, the venue. Oh yeah. One foil stamped bean, I think. Ooh. Yeah. If I didn't have four, I would uh, I would want that for sure. <laughs> you can only play at the highest level when you have max rarity. That's mm -hmm. big facts. Mm -hmm. For the record, Frank Miller, it is me on stream. What it is, baby, baby. All right, so we got back-to-back -back topos here. The most exciting gameplay. Bro, for real? Yeah, for real. You you just played that card. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> like, what? He's like, wait a minute. It does that for you, too? <laughs> <laughs> Thought we were friends, Topo. Good, bro. He's like, I'm just saying, I don't think it should work. But that's just my opinion. I can almost hear what Robbie's yeah, I can asking. Almost hear what he's asking. Not too sure why they stopped. He's he's asking to judge something. I'm sure. I'm I'm pretty sure he's trying to ask a uh, a rulings question without trying to get coaching from him. Mm -hmm. um, just because it's very tricky. The judge can only say so much based off of uh, exactly what yeah. he can do there. He just has to main make sure the game state gets maintained and nothing gets uh, diluted here. But it seems like it's under control. Might have been just a question as well. Two five drop Goku's underneath the surge leader, right there. Eh? Mm -hmm. Calling. The well, when you're awakening and you have no option to play hard filled, you got to get rid of your 10ks because these Base surge clock, leaders yeah. play so many 10ks, so many dual right. color cards. Like you just need to be able to utilize Absolutely. them. Absolutely, we've seen it so much with the the clog. The Bardocks are two, so if you don't have the energy for them, they're just horrible to have in your Th hand. That's why at turn one you saw him, or turn two you saw Colin pitch it because oh. he's like, I have three. Like, I'm not going to play three. Oh! He doesn't, that's what he was asking. He I think, I think he was three. asking if he has to pitch a card yeah. for the negate if he counters it. Mm, that's fair. Yeah, but it's a counter. It's the same as Nimbus. He doesn't have to because pitch it's it. Because, exactly, because yeah. it's a payment thing. Never so gets like, even played. Exactly, yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah. That's a good question. I like it. So he's going to surge. Uh-oh. Plus 10. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's going to do it. He's going to oh. do it. Here it comes. Here comes double strike. Crit. See, but I feel like it's a turn too late because now he has a blue in the energy. So if he – oh, here it is. He's going to force him to do it. He's going to be like, take away my double strike. He can't. It's his leader. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It's only battle cards. Oh. So he's going to – regardless, he's getting rid of one of the surges. Here it is. Dump your hand, Robbie. Just dump your hand. I don't know if you – oh, yeah, man. I don't know if you dump now. Because well, I mean, he's Colin's got a ton of cards, too. But he's like, committed, exactly, and he's committed to the long game. Colin did use super, two super combos earlier. Or I think he might have three in the drop area right now in total. Oh, yeah, you're right. He did. So I don't I don't know if dumping is actually the play. He's committed to the long game, like I said, and, and he is the turn player, so he does have that advantage of having more energy. Next turn, the Foo's coming out regardless. So I don't think you dump that hard. I think you just do that, then you maybe play a Foo. Uh, so then you maybe play with swing with the Beerus. If he takes it, he takes it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But then on the swing back, you have your Surge Awaken still handy. And you don't care about his Surge Awaken if you got one. Well, here's the thing, too, is, like, if Robbie pushes damage and he actually left one of his energy going open. Oh, never mind. He's going on. <laughs> yeah, exactly, at this point. What were we going to say, though? Uh, if, if he would have held back one energy and Colin ends up taking this damage or combos out of it, swings Beerus, takes a damage, goes down to one, he can just mirror and win the game. There's no way 100%. you're out that 100%. mirror. 100%. Did he have the mirror in hand? Yeah. Remember we saw the mirror and the double strike? The seven drop greater absorb. Mm, he might have comboed it away earlier, didn't he? Not? Oh, I didn't notice if he comboed it away or not. Either but way, but yeah, that's definitely true. Yeah. Um, but I think at that point he's more worried about the negate, because Robbie could also have just a regular negate in hand, mm -hmm. uh, a Nimbus, another Topo or something, to just not take the damage. 
And so if he has that, then it's kind of just you tapped out and you're probably dead. Well, not dead. Again, four life is a lot for a surge leader. It's very rare that I see surge leader grow from four to, to zero unless they have no <laughs> cards in hand. Yeah, no, it doesn't happen. But Robbie did all in just now. So if he catches him on swing back, see he has the Roshi in hand. So that oh he scooped it up. Yep. There he is. knew he could not combo it. Yeah. Quick first game. All that right. was nice. Can't yeah. complain with that. Yeah, can't complain at all. Um, what do you think some of the things uh, Colin can do to make things go a little bit smoother for him this time? Robbie seems to know what he's doing to like. I'm surprised his expertise with the deck, having never played it before yesterday. I think like I think that he was play testing online on tap, but I don't think he was doing a lot of like in person testing. You know, okay. so like you know when you're playing online, you get it's good different. players, you get bad players. It's the different. RNG's different. It's not mm -hmm. the same atmosphere, or whatever. So like. I think he was doing well. I don't think he expected to do this well today. Yeah, well, he might take it. He's one game away. Oh, I know. Yeah, I would love to see him take it down today. That'd be awesome. Robbie's a great guy. He uh, oh, commentated yeah? with me on the first stream of the day uh, oh, yeah. yesterday, and he also uh, won on already a game on stream before. Got to uh, interview him as a winner, I suppose. Going to head back here to the side deck battle here. Um, they are going to be looking at each other's side decks. Uh, oh, yeah, 100%. Just right now because... Yeah, so he has uh, Robbie's side deck, and Robbie has, or maybe he's uh, he's already done it, and they're just because you don't see what they're siding in, you just get to look at their side deck. Mm -hmm. I remember there's a tip that Joey Palladino said one time. Uh, whenever you're doing these big events, is like you don't have to ever tell your opponent what cards you're siding and how many you're siding. So what he likes to do is he'll take his whole side, put it in his deck, and then just take 15 cards out. Because then you don't know what your opponent's doing. Yep. He could have just put 15 cards in, took the exact same 15 out, yeah. and now he's just mind gaming you. you That's facts. It's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Just those little mini, mini mental battles. Exactly. You know, like, at the end of the day, it's not all about, like, is my skill better than your skill? It's like, can I mentally rattle you right now? Mm -hmm. And if I do that, like... How are you going to bounce back from it? Are you going to, like, be rattled? Or are you going to notice that I was just, you know, pushing you into the corner and now you freaked out? Are you going to settle back in, get your groove going? Some people can't do it, man. I know a lot of people who just uh, who just crumble. Yeah, when they tilt, dude, sometimes you can't come back. There we go. going to start soon. But yeah, the one thing I noticed about Rob or um, Collins' list – he doesn't play any counter counters in the main board. So I would imagine that he's probably going to put in the cooler, either yeah, the cooler or Almighty Resistance, which is dope because there's two counter counters in this game now because they just released the one from the EX sets. So now this Surge Coup leader can play both counter counters. And you're just like, What's what? the name of the other one? Uh, Almighty Resistance. It's a two drop uh, red yellow card. You have to be a red leader, but because you're a dual color leader, you get the best of both worlds of red and yellow. And then uh, you play it for two, you have to pitch a yellow card from your hand, and then you negate a counter, like a counter attack. So if they try to, uh, you go swing with your So it's only counter attacks. The only counter attacks, mm -hmm. which is fine, and it's pretty much bad ring for two energy as opposed to one. Bad ring for two, yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> it looks mm -hmm. like just bad ring for two. Yeah, it's an it's amazing card. I've been crushing with it all weekend. I've yeah, definitely people, enjoyed people it. People probably don't expect it. Oh, no, not at all. It's, yeah, won me... A bunch of games this weekend. Uh, well, that was uh, quite the quick game for Robbie. He seemed to be in control the entire time. I think the triple strike to two was what did it in. Uh, yeah, I, I was really surprised that Colin took that damage. Like, that was probably when the game completely went in Robbie's favor, 100%. Yeah. Hopefully... History does not repeat itself here. <laughs> we have had a long, uh, long weekend, though, you know. Yeah, people are tired. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mulligan came strong. We're ready to go. Start it up. Obviously, Colin better be going first, or I'll be really upset with his choices. <laughs> Well, that's not a bad hand Secret to have. Rare. Secret rare charge, Gone. turn one. Bam. Gone. Well, that's the other thing is, like, are we going to get to five? And am I going to tap out to play this on five? I think you get to mm -hmm. five, but you probably play it on six and leave a blue up. Exactly, yeah, because then you yeah, yeah, get it back. Easy charge pass. Uh, he got uh, to charge the Frost Deadly. 
That's always good to charge on turn one, I find. Oh, yeah, it's 100%. Just, it's just so, so much about Like, the the earlier you charge your, like, dead multicolors, the better, <laughs> to be mm-hmm. honest. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, we know he uh, he can't just shotgun the Fu Banisher now. Robby has, like, three energy open, and it's the same vice versa. So, that's why the... Uh, let's go. That's why the, the mirror match is a lot more... That's why the blue variant is a lot more explosive in the mirror match, just because... Um, Colin said it last time when I interviewed him after he won his last game. He said, uh, I have an answer to his big threat, and he doesn't. Right? He can't interact with the Fu with anything, mm-hmm. basically, except for the blood, the Frost Deadly Poison. And so if you're just playing the red-yellow variant, you're kind of forking over the mirror match if someone's playing the blue. Big boy ape. All right. Swinging for damage. Let's see it. Get it. It looks like uh, he's taking a page out of Robbie's book here and doing the eggs. Sir, I've seen this exact play done maybe at least like eight times today alone. Like <laughs> literally. Just swing with leader. Okay, you're at uh, seven. Swing with my Bardock ape. You're at five pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone was hoping that that Raiders war cry would start going down in price because uh, Burly BR, the yellow leader, is kind of falling out of grace here a little Shru- bit. But Listen, tap two. Mm-hmm. For draw tap, <laughs> it's one of the strike. best generic cards in the game, and all you need is a yellow leader. It's mm-hmm. like sign me up, dude. I'll play Code Bloodlust. Oh yeah, I don't mind. Imagine I heard Goku was a freeze army. I don't know why he's not. <laughs> oh, that would be the most. The insane. new the new Broly is not a uh, is not a freeze army though. Yeah. No, that which is great. Like yeah, of course <laughs> should have never did that in the first place. I think the old one is fine being a freeze army just because Code Bloodlust is at one, and that's the only thing that like really changes much. Mm-hmm. And I think they they put him at. Um, they made him a Frieza army with the intention to nerf uh, Bloodlust to one. Oh, well, that's so. definitely possible. I never really considered that frame of thinking for sure. I think he sent no. I thought he was going to send something there. Thought no, I think he was uh, figuring out which uh, card to pitch for his leader okay. after he drew two. Oh, uh, so is the play to send Sub? Nope, just to pass. Okay, so mm-hmm. a lot slower pace for Robbie here. No triple strikes on turn two yet. He probably doesn't have any apes either is the reason why. Oh, the other thing is you don't want to tap up for going into his turn three because then yeah. you're just screwed well, after exactly. that. Exactly. But, yeah, you're right. Playing on the uh, – like when you have to play on the on the curve, it's a little bit more difficult. Oh, yeah. It's the best turn two play if you're on the play, 100%. Oh, of course. You get him down to like seven to five every single time without mm-hmm. fail. Oh, yeah. The, nobody's going to dump cards out of their hand and not take that double strike. I mean, some players might. Uh, oh, some uh, bad players I'm might. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, the next event for Top Cuts will be uh, the Jersey Regional. Yeah, in July. Yeah. We don't know uh, a weekend date yet, unfortunately, or a venue, but it's going to be popping in July, so yeah. hopefully you guys can show up. Come hang out. Yeah, come say hi, you know. Come on now. Top. What's he going to do? Another war cry. So that's three war cries out of the equation for uh for Colin here. Which is kind of big. I don't know. He probably has the n- another one. I think he's going to focus more on the whole Beerus and there's the way we see it. He's going to At this point using leader. Yeah, at this point using your two energy to play no holds barred as opposed to just a 20k double striker. You don't want to keep giving Robbie a ton of cards, you know. Yeah, of course. And you want to also just lock down his leader so now mm-hmm. he's not going to be drawing two cards on his exactly, own turn. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So, he could potentially just nail him for three damage right now. And force the surge, well. Wow. Okay, Robbie's hand must have been really bad in that case. Looks like we might be getting a good game three after all. Unless, well, he could also maybe have a topo that he wants to play now and That's get that fair. last energy, you know, stop his turn pretty much. He could just say, I'm going to surge plus 10k and, <laughs> exactly. through, and Colin's turn Ch- is over. Chuck up the deuces yeah. and be like, uh, let's, uh, let's keep going. Although, I don't know if that's the play because the, typically the Here one who, who surges topo. first. Oh, oh he ooh, has the eight. Nice. Oh, get that out of my face. Yeah, puts him over the combo, taps the ape, draws Ooh. a card, all the good stuff. Ooh. But now he still has to deal with that Beerus, although going down to four is not as scary as going down to three. And surprisingly, Colin only has five cards in ha- six cards in hand. That's not very many cards. No. He's got the heart felt, though, so his awaken, whatever he wants, is going to be a huge turn. Yep, absolutely. If that Beerus manages to stay on board, actually, he could do that right now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's probably the play, actually, to just yeah. do exactly what um, Robbie did to him That's right now, and he's not going to go for it. Nah. 
It was the best part about the hard fill is you can do it on defense, and then people just don't expect you to do it. Then, like every time I play that card on defense, they're like, "Oh, you could do that." <laughs> like, yeah, dude. Yeah, maybe uh, force them to either quit a life or let you draw two on their turn. Exactly. That's like that's I love f making people have to make that decision. Yeah. Although, like I, I don't know, I feel like you have to be able to to smell the blood when someone is uh, in a vulnerable area, like state. Oh like, yeah. Like. Uh, I think if he would have actually just uh, straight up not attack with the Beerus, awaken her fill plead, um, he would have still been at five life, so no super combos, mm -hmm. and he could have just swung, hit him to, hit him to two. Granted, you have to be safe, especially like I don't know. I feel like being at this tier again, like this far into the finals, so just at the finals. Sorry, yeah, you play a lot different than you would like. You try to play a lot safer, mm -hmm. and. I think that was a good decision. Definitely swinging the ape and the ape so that you don't put him down to where he yep. can use his surge abilities. Absolutely. Great and choice. going to pop into six. Take it very slow. Robbie playing this very, very well. I wonder how much self-awakening Colin plays, if any. Probably not. I don't think you play very much self-awakening with surge. Do you? Like Some people were, and I don't... Oh, he plays the Weiss the Spectator, so okay. if he ever needs the, just the one, you yeah. know, like it's nice to have that option. I feel like I feel like you want to stay on Awakened as much as possible. There's no gear, there's no plus side to Awakening short of like defending or mm -hmm. going for going for game with the Awakening side is just eh. like it's not that great. No, not like, at all. You rather just spam out your board. He's got a monkey in hand, so he's gonna be able to swing, drop the monkey, draw two, so he's gonna draw four cards this turn. Yeah, I'm so happy that all these surge leaders can't draw on the backside because if they oh drew when they attacked, it would be like, okay, we're never playing any other leaders yeah. again. Need to calm down. <laughs> <Bandai>. down. <laughs> <laughs> swing. Is he swing at the leader or at the Bardock? I think he pointed at Bardock. I don't know if that's the play. I think Robbie's more worried about life now. I feel like when you have this much of a life advantage, you have to pressure the leader a lot because mm -hmm. eventually your opponent will gas out. Yeah, not only that, but Colin's sitting at six, so he wants him to hit him. Yeah. Like, yeah, he w would rather take one, but two yeah. damage is fine, too. And discard there. And you can just tap two, draw two, doesn't have to do much else. And then just pass after that. Yeah. He still yeah. has heart felt, so yeah. he can do that whenever he wants. <sighs> Doing it now that he has three mana, uh, three energy open is kind of rough. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, you wouldn't want to do it right now. He's oh. going to combo rival, kill More Beerus. Beards, dude. Boom, boom. <laughs> Why couldn't they print that as the SPR? So like, much. why'd you give me Heartfelt? Give why'd, you me give me, why'd you give me Beerus Ball? <laughs> exactly. Like, the five drop Beerus would have been so much cooler. Yeah. It would have been really, it would have been like a, a $50 SPR, $60 SPR. Because this guy's like 20 almost now. And after this tournament, he's going to spike right back up. I love you too, Cam. You already know, baby. Does he play double shot? He does not play double shot. This is not pan. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're... Oh. Funny. Yeah. Everyone's a comedian, dude. Hey, man, you could. <laughs> you could oh, my God, you could play the double shot and Occupation Frieza. Both of them for red and yellow. Bro. Spam the board. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> we'll go back to those um, draft box Vegeta leader decks where it's like, I got all four. Oh, but they weren't in the draft box, were they? No, but people were oh. like making the deck outside of the draft box with it. They're like, it's every color, man. Check people it out. People have too much time. Yeah, oh, dude, way too much time. That's not bad. <laughs> you could also play the TN from set two. Mm -hmm. That comes out for two. Yeah, and then as soon as someone plays uh, Dark Power Black Mass Sand, you just start crying. You just scoop. You yeah, exactly. Good game. You're like, I'll see you later, man. You try hard and you walk <laughs> <Yeah>. away. <laughs> All right, so a little Roshi Negate action. That Roshi Negate is so good in uh, Bulma. Mm. Amazing in Bulma. Same with the Videl, obviously. But uh, Oh, yeah. Can let you so much advantage. I think Bulma would actually is actually going to see a little bit more play now because um, – Board clear is less prevalent, uh, prevalent sorry, because um, the beer sure it clears one card, but like there's not many cards that clear boards anymore, and people aren't even citing much stuff that clear like a bunch of boards. Well, we can't snooze on exploiting weakness like that will destroy cannot. all the blockers in the world. You cannot. Um, I think, mm, I think you just keep it at two, two or three blockers a turn, mm -hmm. and then uh, maybe play. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try building something where it's like removal slash 
for that. Mm-hmm. Spam like two, three blockers out at a time. That'd be juicy. Those Goten uh, revenge blockers are really good. I know, They're bro. so good. You don't even need to do anything. You just, the threat of them is scarier mm-hmm. than they are. You just looked at that card and you're like, just revenge, that's it? Mm-hmm. And you're like, that's all it needs. That's all it needs, Bulma. Do the work. <laughs> So that Hercule Boo, I wonder how often uh, Colin was actually using that card this weekend. I think it's good in like, yeah, no, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, it's a weird one of. It's kind of good against like, um, maybe like Baby or something, because you can Roshi Negate, play the Boo, add the Roshi Negate back to your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, with Topo. Oh, definitely. You can add the Topo back to your hand. Mm-hmm. So maybe in like aggro, very aggro matchups, maybe against the, the, the Broly, um, Yellow Broly, or in the Mirror Match even. Yeah, I think going into this regional weekend, everybody was kind of expecting to see a ton of baby, like yellow mm-hmm. baby leader, a ton of hatch, and yeah, I was saying, I think I think baby's like tier two now. Yeah, I think because that's the way formats go. Is like a set gets released, aggro is the best thing in the world, and then as the tournament kind of progresses, the set gets a little bit older. Everyone mm-hmm. f- finds out how to play against aggro, and then aggro is not as good anymore, yeah. unless you're Marcel Russell and you're you can just play aggro. it all day. Just love you, my girl. He unfortunately could not uh, make top 16 with his baby deck. He did, however, do really well in draft. Yeah, I think he's still playing uh, top four right now. Yeah, Top four get invites, I think, right? Uh, Top two for draft, I think. In the first really? place also gets a uh, a buy, I think. Uh, they, get a, they get a sell, mat, a sell play mat. Oh, that sell play oh, mat is so, so hot, dude. It's so insane. I know. Shout out to uh, Devin Butterworth, dude. I'm sure he wants that mat <laughs> real bad. Pay two. Uh, Bring out Topo. Topo. Oh, that means he cannot attack with his leader. Oh, well, he's already awakened, so it's not like he's going to draw two or anything. It's not the end of the world. Pitch is exploding Pay weakness. Two, and okay. so let's try again, maybe. No. Okay. Pay two. He would just warp the ape. Yep. That was his drop. That's all he did. He's probably going to pass his turn right now. That's classic yep. Robbie play. It's like, oh, you use Topo? I'll grab a couple cards and I'll pass. Yep. Which is not bad. Like two energy to draw two is pretty good when you you can't attack. Oh, when you have nothing else to do. Like I love that card in my beaver sticks. Like there's so many times where I'm like, oh, what can I do for two energy? Oh, I'll draw two cards. <laughs> it's good though. Colin seems to have, be having a lot less of uh, like energy issues. Last game uh, he played, he was really struggling with p- finding like the right energies to charge and stuff. Mm-hmm. Chop is not the best card in this matchup. It's good if you want to hit like uh, Demigra. Well, against the Hatchiak, it's good if you want to hit, like, Gogeta 7. Mm-hmm. But everything else, it just kind of just fizzles up against. Yeah, exactly. In this matchup, he might want to use it against, like, uh, Creator Absorbed or maybe a Heartfelt or something. Yeah, for sure. But other than that, it's like whatever. Because you can't out-combo that Creator Absorbed. There's no, no. There's no, no, there's no leader that produces <laughs> There aren't enough cards in the world to out-combo that one. <laughs> I've done it. Oh, I'm sure. I've done 120. <laughs> that was all they went, though. So Ooh. That's rookie numbers. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, it's Kid Kuz a good deck. What can I say? Oh, yeah, you just draw cards the game. All right, so he has got a... Okay. He's got the Beerus. He's got... Is that the Almighty? Yeah, he's got, he's got the full combo, but he just... He just needs to do it properly, I guess. I'm trying to see that third card from the left. I think that's the Almighty Resistance. And I knew he was gonna cite it in hundred. No, it's it's not. It's a five. Oh, it's it's oh it's it is five. Okay, yeah, cool. No, it's yeah. Five mm. it's five okay. Okay. That's I say. He has the combo. So if he pops the beers here, nice. And he doesn't get popped back. He just straight up goes into it. Well, he he's only got one option. It is to pop Beerus because uh, he Robbie never swung with the leader last round, so he can't pick the leader. It has to be in rest mode. No, no, I meant like I was talking about Robbie popping his Beerus. Oh, okay, if okay, pops I get his you. Beerus, yes. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah if, Ro- if, if Robbie pops his Beerus, then he can't heartfelt play and then right on cue, mm-hmm. there it is. Try Ooh, again. Juicy. <laughs> he should have surged, bro. Rough. I think that Colin was getting a little greedy on that play. I think regardless, he was gonna pop the heartfelt plead, even if he didn't. So. Ah, yeah, true. Either way. You want to use as many Beerus as you can. Beerus is, has proven to be probably the most valuable. Red, yellow, in the current format. Oh, yeah, without a doubt, that card is just the nuts, dude. I love that card. If you're not playing it at four and you're playing red, yellow, you're doing it wrong, man. I currently play it at one because I own one. <laughs> <laughs> we got to change that, bro. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm gonna grab mine before they spike up. Oh, dude, cool. get them while you can, because yeah, they are going yeah. to fly up in after price. After this regional, especially, people are probably gonna buy out TCG. Oh yeah, I'm sure Rishi is just drooling right now. <laughs> Super combo. He beamed up back to four. Anything he wants to play here for four? Mm. He's going to heartfelt play with the topo. He beamed it up to 25. Yep. Amazing. See? He's, he's like, I got options. Yeah, here. he's thinking. He's thinking. That's important. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if he put the double strike chomp on under him, but it's his only option actually, so he has to put the double strike chomp under him. Oh, I probably keep the master Ro Roshi negate, put the uh, trickster underneath him. Oh, I f for a split second I thought Colin put Heartfelt down because he was gonna surge leader awaken, and I was like, oh no no, he's just establishing like I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna pick the cards I want under my leader first. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that Roshi either way. So he's gonna untap one draw. Three cards, not broken. <laughs> All right, Topo, you're going to have to say see you later. And the trickster <sighs> comes out. Pretty good. Uh, yep. Very situational, but very good at the same time. Topo's dead now. We got our stream judge on top of everything here. Yes, I like it. We got one on each side. Did he just get the foo? Oh, he got Shrouded Mystery up. Was that Shrouded? No, which foo was that? Uh, Robbie? No, the Colin just drew uh, into a foo. I, I thought it was an ape. No, it was an ape. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm oh, no, no, it's Shroud of Mystery. You oh. are right. All right. I was like, <laughs> I'm tired, but I don't know if I'm that tired. Shroud of Mystery is live next turn. He just hasn't mm. pushed for any damage yet. Yeah, I mean, I think he was... I don't know what he was hoping for, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> that Heartfelt and the Chompa was so rough. I think Heartfelting... Heartfelting? Is that a... Yeah, we'll make it that. Why not? Thing. I think heartfelting a lot earlier was probably important, like back when he was at five life, just to hit him down to two, like Robbie did. Mm -hmm. uh, just because now, when you play Fu, it's win con. Yeah, I think he just didn't want to get into a situation where he his hand size was going to be lower than Robbie's, so that's why he saved it, the mm -hmm. awaken, just for an extra turn which or is, two. Which is fair, exactly. But but it's know. those like it's those little choices that you make throughout the game. That's like, is this good? Is this bad? Like, how yeah. is it going to add up? You know, it's weird. Yeah, Robbie just played the Broly, took out a super combo from Colin's hand, taking away all the gas because he does not want to get all in. He doesn't care if he has negates. No, not at all. He's just like, okay, now that he knows the math, mm -hmm. he's like, okay, cool. This is nice though because this feels a lot like old Dragon Ball, the good old Dragon Ball of set two. Oh where yeah. It's all about just like outplaying your opponent every single turn. He took a fifteen hit. That's interesting. That is interesting. Usually, you want to take like the twenty-five. Well, plus he's got another attacker on board. Mm -hmm. Maybe he just wants to turn on his super combos, but I think his super combos are sparking. Yeah, he's got the beer sparking. He used it earlier. That's right there at the top of his. Yeah, divine cry. I think is what it's called. Mm -hmm. He's gonna swing here. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any raiders or cry. Raiders core cry would have been amazing. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. on the last attack there. Tap yeah, tap down that beerus. Yeah. That's why you don't charge and pitch it, you know what I'm saying? Yep. If you're going to charge it, you can't pitch it. you got to hold on to it just in case. It's three down. He's got one more in his deck, I think. Uh, he plays four, I assume. Everybody plays four. You'd be surprised. Where are you, buddy? Oh, yeah, four, 100%. He's arriving his <laughs> that third beer is this game, fourth beer is this game? I think that was three for Robbie, and then it's – I think it was three for both players, actually. Really? Seen six beers is this game. I think Bobby's a lot better at sequencing them because he's the one that has two of them on board. Mm -hmm. Oh, I I was getting all the tips and tricks from him, seeing how how he gets that beers in play. He's a very high caliber player, he's dude. Yes. Very good at this oh game. yeah. Well, just getting to pick his brain Friday night was probably yeah. the best thing I could have asked for. Yeah, and he's a very nice guy. Oh yeah, he's, he's very nice he's, guy. He's a hyper guy for sure. So like, he's a high energy dude. If you're in for having a good time, a good conversation, like he's the dude to talk to for sure. Absolutely. There's the Nimbus a little bit late, but what are you going to do? Don't pitch for it, dude. It's not worth it. Don't do it. No pitch, he said. No pitch. And now Colin has not have very many cards in hand. But he could potentially draw two when he passes turn. Did he just 
Oh. He said no combo. Isn't just combo. I get you. Draw for turn here. He's going to untap everything. Noise. Ooh, Fu and Shrouded. He survive. He has the Fu Shrouded. The Fu Shrouded is probably not the play, though. Because if he does that, he won't have enough gas to kill him. Exactly. Well, no, because he's charged this, and he's got the double strike with leader, and he can get the plus 10k off of his surge. Yeah, but his uh, his the surge can just get taken away. Uh, the surge can take away the double strike from the Fu. Oh, yeah, duh. God, I hate that ability so much, uh, dude. It's, it's what keeps I, him from dying instantly, man. I know. <laughs> if he didn't have it, it'd actually be not a very playable deck. The fact that you can bloodlust the board is very important. That's so much variety in like, just playability. Yeah, I, I only played one Surge Coup Leader, or against one Surge Coup Leader this weekend, and it felt so bad when I played Army Reborn, and he's like, oh, what strike? <laughs> like, I'll take one. And I was like, oh, really? Did you combo your hand? <laughs> no, thankfully I wasn't that dumb. I mean, you still got to look at his hand. But let me board. tell you, in game two for that same match, uh, I comboed on the heartfelt thing. And it was like, I literally just got shafted <laughs> by this ability. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to sleep. Uh, time to go to bed. Yep. X, X8 drop. And that was my first loss of the day, too. I was so upset. I was like, come on, man. And then Russell Stelzer had to push my stuff in, dude. Last round with his, Demi <laughs> with his Demigra deck. Oh, I've I've played against a million Demigra p players, and he was by far the best one I've ever played against. He didn't make a single mistake either game. He's been playing the game for as long as the game's been out, so makes sense. Let me pass turn here. He used the ape to draw two, which is all you can ask for, I guess. And now it's going to be the game of Colin surviving. He's got a lot of energy, so it's definitely possible. A lot of energy. I think he has more cards than Robbie in hand as well. He awakens a little bit later than he did. Vanish. Mm, he played the Fushard of Mystery in Energy, which means he's not going to use it to win. Which, I don't know why he wouldn't. He's going to give himself plus 10k. There it is, he just shotgunned it. So, double sense of being for free is kind of good. I think is the moral of this story. Super combo up to 30. Make him discard some cards. the third super combo for Colin now? It is. He's got he only plays three though. <laughs> yeah. He only plays three. Really? I'm not kidding. <laughs> You're joking me right now. That's all his all his super combos. That's insane. Yeah, I guess you have to cut something. Maybe cut the Roshi bro. I don't know. <laughs> bro, dude. He just blew my mind. Yep. Yeah, right here. Three. That's crazy. Does he side a different one just in case? No, it doesn't look like it. That's a really weird choice. <laughs> Uh-oh. Combo away. Oh, they're both not playing it today. I guess they don't see the value in doing it. Maybe uh, Colin's trying to deck Robbie out. I think they. I don't think they are willing to commit six energy to just watch that double strike get turned into single strike. Like it's just not worth it. Or get Frost Deadly poisoned. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Robbie, if Colin can pull off something here. The two Beerses are eventually going to start adding up. He has potentially another turn to Surge and not do anything. Oh, really Ooh, good. Here comes the knowledge game. So these are the cards you can hit. Everything else, don't touch. He's got the mirror in hand. And the mirror is free damage if it doesn't get negated. Mm -hmm. So you can just put out whatever for a, th a free pop. <coughs> Probably get rid of the chomp. Is that the five drop baby he's got too? Yeah, he's going to negate the leader's uh, surge abilities. Yep. Disgusting. Of course, you got to get rid of chomp. 100%. No double strike for you. 
Second Broly, here it comes. <laughs> oh my god, what a disaster. Why are you going to counterplay this, bro? Don't do that. You're still going to be at... Oh. <laughs> Alright. I'm he's sure he has a reason. Probably doesn't want it, because I think he thinks it's going to get picked out of his hand anyways. He's also wanting to force him to use other cards to arrival if he wants to get That's another fair. viewer's on board, too. And the, the the Broly doesn't draw one when it comes out, so it's just a straight-up neg one from your hand mm -hmm. and neg this one from your opponent's hand as well. The best is if you have two energy up, they play that, then you can use like a Chompa and stuff and get around it, and then you draw the card back. So they exact, neg one, you yeah. get nothing. Yeah. yeah. And you get that 15-beat stick on board. Oh, and the big pass from Colin. This could... Uh this could be rough here. He is playing. Uh, oh okay, I, I forget. He's work. He's playing that one super combo, the the Roshi super combo, the red one. Oh, I think uh, Master Roshi Martial Expert. I think. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Okay, I see you now, Colin. I was gonna say nobody runs three super combos on purpose. Like you, you don't. The, what's the other Master Roshi? The yellow one called. Uh, Martial X. No, he just said Martial Expert. Um. Master Roshi, Forge Refilled, uh, Forge of Will. Yep. Oh, yeah. So he surged. He used his other surge now. So now Colin does not have any more surge, and Robbie still has two, I believe. Not looking great. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty good. It's going to enable him to get some swing back. And he summoned. Oh, no. Please don't tell me he's going to do it again. That is a highlight reel if I've ever seen one. Oh my god. Oh, that's just. And we know he has the counter counter in hand, I think, too, unless he played it. If that, unless the one the drop here, there's the one that was in his hand. Oh, so he man. just got plus 10k off of Vegeta's, and he had another plus 10k off his leader. Oh, that's gross. Wait, he's gonna counter play it with swift retaliation. Oh, okay. Oof. That's how you do it. Gonna get to untap one, draw one. Mm -hmm. Not tapped out. Wow. That was huge. Nice little momentum swing back for Colin here. Robbie's only got one energy now. It's going to swing. <laughs> Stop. Robbie, stop. <laughs> Bro, are you joking <laughs> me right now? He just played three Vegetas on one turn. In one turn. He, he's been talking this whole weekend about, like, you know what? I like. I, I started playing this card at two, and I Please. was like, why not three? And Guys. I started playing it at three. Why not four? <laughs> buy out your Vegetas now before they go up to $600. Okay, guys? Oh. I'm telling you right now. Mm -mm -mm. Holy... You don't, you don't get a Bardock. You don't. You thought you got a Bardock. You don't get a Bardock. <laughs> oh man! And he baited so out one of the blow and the Frost Deadly Poisons. Exactly. If he still had that Fu in hand, he could have very easily gone for game next turn. But it's understandable. Let's see what Colin chooses. Foresight. Yeah. You, know, you never know. Yeah, you never know. You're gonna get triple Vegeta. <laughs> exactly, dude. Like, really? <laughs> okay. Insane. I think Robbie really wanted to force the. Uh, Force the surge. Uh -oh. oh, anything you can do, I can do better, he says. <laughs> oh, this has been a crazy sequence. Oh, man. Oh, man. And these guys are just like, on my turn, I'm doing this. Check it out. That's hilarious. Oh my God. This is a crazy finals right here. He's going to swing into the Beerus and say no combos because Beerus is 5K. Mm hmm. Little baby Beerus. He's and not doing anything. Just good. like that, the tables have turned. Wow. wow insane. Dude. I think Robbie was really focused on clearing that one target when, while Colin was just like, okay, I'll nuke your whole board with that one Vegeta mm -hmm. instead of three. He's going to pay three to play another Vegeta. No, no five for baby. Mm. He's going to try to end it here. <laughs> I don't know if he has the gas to, though. He, he, he I wish I could see what else is in his hand right yeah, now. Yeah, if we can take a look at Robbie's hand just to be able to speculate if he has a Champa. Does he have enough cards in his hand to actually do the effect, though? Uh, he has to discard two, three, three, and then you take a life and add it to your hand, which is nice. So it's technically Does your it have again. offering? 
It does have offer. And I assume he drew two. Uh, I don't. I think they're deciding on whether or not he's gonna Counterpoint. chomp it. Yeah, before offering takes place, he's going to see if he wants to play anything in counter window one. Because if he taps it, he's safe. Uh, How many cards does he have in deck? Does that, was that four that Colin has left? Uh, but Robbie's not any better, man. Robbie has like about five or six, too. If that, maybe four as well. That is wild. Because right now, Robbie's in a position where he doesn't even need to take life. Like, he's... He can just force Colin to die, I guess, <laughs> by deck out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's... Uh, like. Playing hard felt when it's this low, like, it's just, of course, I'm going to let you draw two. Like, that's fine. All right, let's see what uh, what he does here. Has he already attacked with his leader this turn? Oh, oh he decided to take a to take the leader swing. I think it was. Mm -hmm. He let the offering happen. I saw Robbie draw two. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And uh, now he took took it. Went down to two. Now he's swinging with baby. I don't know. I don't know. Wait a minute. Did he not do baby's ability because Vegeta's still on board? So that means he didn't neg everything 20? He hasn't done it, no. Oh, wow. That's wild. He can't go for game. He doesn't have the gas. Yeah, you can't pitch three cards right now and just get one back and then expect to win. Yeah. Right now, he can just play the long game. Like I think playing this baby in general was a mistake. Um, unless he, call, like, Colin falls for it and decides to uh, swing into it, waste some attacks on it, and try to kill it. Mm -hmm. Because right now, Colin has barely any cards left in deck. And it's going to get to a point where it's going to start looking pretty rough for him if he can't uh, close out this game. He probably doesn't have any more threats in his deck either. so He's he probably going to hard cast a heart fill next turn. Yeah, it's the only out oh, he's got. He's considering taking the damage. Oh. So, okay, he went down to one. He's Jeez. digging. He's digging because he knows he has to kill him next turn. What other finishers does this guy have? Oh, Dark no. Banisher. I think that's all he's got left. But you have to keep in mind, Robbie can also just say, I'm going to take a life and nuke your board. Mm-hmm. Robbie definitely playing uh, playing that one real smart, saving those and he very still has, crucial abilities. He still has his surge abilities. That's exactly yeah, exactly. It's so gross. That's what we were saying. Like it's uh, it's insane that Robbie awakened a lot earlier than Colin did, and Colin just couldn't put out the pressure to make him s make him use any of his surges. Oh yeah, she gotta charge that super combo. Like there's you're not trying to draw any more cards right now, especially if you feel like you have to play heartfelt to win. Mm. It is a sparking one. So, yeah, if you had, like, a light overwhelm card, you could have played it, then maybe just mm -hmm. got the 10 and no sparking. But I don't know. I think he's just trying to bait out the Vegeta ability now. Because we saw his hand, and it doesn't have much threat ability in it. Threat ability in it. Because right, right now, I'd probably just say, uh, no negates. He just goes up to B. Goes up to 20. doesn't even use a surge ability. Wow. He's confident enough not to, not to use a surge ability. Which test on me, I guess. Yeah, that ability is so precious, man. Like, that 10k is... Uh, this leader is just so good right now. Okay. No negates. He's going to pay one for a Broly, maybe? No, he's swinging leader. Okay. A combo in oh, Heartfilt. Oh, he's not playing the Heartfilt plea, because, again... He, he could also take away triple, and then it's just like, okay, he made me draw two cards, and I did one damage. Like, whatever. Yep. All right, Robbie. Uh, I think uh, two Colin has turns, two buddy. cards in deck, man. Yeah, two turns, bud. And I think you got this. I think Colin just says, I, I'm not going to try to do anything anymore. I'm going to swing at his tapped Vegeta, and I'll be here if you need me. Mm -hmm. But also, at the same time, if Robbie says, I'll swing at your leader, and dumps his hand, and Robbie, Colin's like, damn, I have to survive this, and he loses his entire hand, same, same scenario. He's just dead. <coughs> Is that baby ability activate battle? Activate battle. Yeah, okay. It's combination attack back to his hand, however. Uh, it's a good thing uh, Robbie did not combo. Oh, again, that's the the him not letting the pressure get to him. Because mm -hmm. some people would have been like, "Oh, he doesn't have any more surge. I'll go all in." And exactly. Then just oh my God, no way he's playing. <gasps> right now. Oh, what a disaster! This pretty much locks it in here. 
He's like, there's no counter plays where I can tap five energy, is there? Oh, <laughs> Lord. This is rough right now. Oh, that is so gross. This is so bad. This is so bad. He's about to do all he the can, math in the he world. Can, he can cold blood lust it. Or rather, frost deadly poison it. He would untap one and draw one, but drawing one, he can't. If he does, if, if he does that, he does loses. Does it say up to one? Does it say up to one on the card? That I'm not 100% sure on. He has two cards in deck, maybe? It looks like it's up to. Because he didn't draw. No, draw one, 100%. No, no, he, I saw him draw one. So he did draw oh, one. Oh, yeah, I watched okay, him okay. draw one. Okay, um, but I was wondering why he drew one. And it's because mm -hmm. So I'm assuming he has two cards in deck left. <laughs> this is to the bone. Oh, yeah. I feel like if you're Robbie, you just don't play anything, man. You don't have to. Four cards. You don't have to kill him. Yeah. Think about this. Don't tap out for this right now. Save it for defense. Because you're at, he is at three life, and he can just be like a super sensu bean. And uh, Rob and Col Colin cannot dig into his life for any resource. Or s can't dig into his life, can't dig into his deck. He mm -hmm. just he just did. It was a two drop though. Like you're just letting him play threats by attacking. You should like in my opinion, you should have played the Broly and just passed. Because now he has a Topo on board. Topo's a threat. Mm -hmm. With the Vegeta already there, you're only at three life here. Discards the topo. So he did neck two off the topo. Oh, he baited it out. I don't know why. GG. If he doesn't have a negate, which he doesn't. He doesn't. Well, okay. he just looked at his hand, too, yeah. with the Broly. No, so he didn't. He got, he got Oh, you're right. Table. Okay, yeah, you're right. Duh. So, and there you have it. Robbie. With the Mira for the win. We got our winners. Dude, that uh, was a nice one. That was insane, one. yeah. The, the whole oh, sequence, yeah. such high-level gameplay is amazing. Oh, yeah. um, fantastic. We are going to be right back to inter with the interview um, with Robbie. Um, give us about maybe three, four minutes. Yeah. Uh, we'll be right back, guys. Catch Thanks. you on flip. All right, guys. Welcome back. I'm here with the winner of the first regional of 2020, Robbie himself. Tell us a little bit about what how you're feeling right now. Man, that was whew, uh, that was intense yeah. uh, the entire time. Uh, Colin is a great player. Mm. If you've ever played against that guy, he is he's a solid player. So it's hard to figure out what you're gonna do, and yeah. you kind of just have to play reactive. So it's very For hard because sure. everything he does, you want to respond to it, and then you're hoping he doesn't have a response back. So like my whole game plan was to keep trying to draw Beerus's. So when he played a Beerus, yeah, sure. just keep going. But uh, off, yeah. it was that, fun. How did you feel when you triple uh, Vegeta? <laughs> I felt really bad, actually, because then I'm like, he's going to have a Vegeta. He's going to yeah. have the Vegeta. And he just goes three Vegeta. I'm just like, yeah. well, that was not the value I wanted. Big upset. Uh, uh, yeah. But um, uh, is there anything you changed in your deck? Anything that you thought needed peak tweaking? I think it's fine for uh, pre-championship cards. Um, now that we have championship yeah, cards, it's a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Like, I won't be playing this list for the Invitational. Like, I'm trying to win money. So this <laughs> list was the regional level. And so that's it. So okay, cool. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say? Anybody you'd like to thank? Hey, uh, Brian Samuel, thanks for helping me test a deck. Shout out to PPG. Uh, the invitation next week is going to be amazing. I'm excited for it. And then hi to Jenny. That's it. Cool. Thanks for everybody, good. guys. We're right back with the outro for this regional. All right. Well, that wraps, uh, wraps up the event here in Chicago. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who uh, watched. We peaked at f about 490 viewers at a time, which is insane for us. We're so happy, so uh, grateful as well. Uh, make sure to follow us on Twitch and YouTube because we do have other regionals coming up. Uh, for example, the one in Jersey coming this June. Um, uh, on Twitch, we are Top Cuts Network, um, Twitch and YouTube. So please uh, make sure to s uh, follow us on those platforms to be able uh, to view more content like this. Um, and if you're not already on uh, our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, please make sure you follow us there at Top Cut Events. Um, this is Georgia Min signing out for the first official regional of 2020. See you next time, guys. Take care.